Hello and welcome to my Minecraft server hosting tutorial for all you people out there that do not know how to host a Minecraft server. First thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go to the minecraft.net slash download.jsp and it'll pull up a bunch of download files here. Now these download files appear just for downloading the game, which is going to be your desktop shortcut. Where mine is right there. And then what you're going to want to do then is, you know, if you haven't downloaded the game, you can download that for the shortcut. Then you want to come down here, you want to download the Minecraft server hosting software. Now once you download it, I've already downloaded it as you can see there, but once you download it, you just put it in whatever file you want. I chose downloads. And once you're done with that, you need to come over here, or go to this link right up here. I'm going to put both of them in the description to help you guys out. Um, you're gonna come and you're gonna download this Hamachi file. It's just called Hamachi. It's free server hosting stuff. And then after that, what you're gonna wanna do? You're gonna wanna go to the place that you put the download file in, and that's gonna be where you're gonna open up the server. Now, first, you wanna go into your Hamachi. You're going to create a network, which you can do right here, you go to network, creating network. It'll give you an IP right here. Now this is not going to be the real IP address that you're going to use. It's not going to, I mean, you're going to use it to host games, but it's not your real IP address. It's just a thing, it's just going to be used off of Fomachi to let you host games on different, on other games. And um, what you're going to do now is you're going to go in, you're going to open up your file, run it. and just because I have the server already up, it's just gonna it's just gonna start the server up again, so I can go automatically into it because I've already saved it. But it's gonna load tons of different stuff, and once it gets down to the bottom, once it gets down to the bottom, it's gonna say done, and some other stuff like this. You're simply gonna go into that little bar down there and type stop, and then you can hit enter, and it'll save the file. Now what you're gonna do after you've done that? That's gonna disappear. And it's going to pull up stuff like this. All these extra folders. Now the ban and ban players, where you can ban players, ban, ban their IPs. I don't know what that is. But this is going to be extra stuff for the game to help you host it. And um, this is going to be the file that you're going to want to open up. Now when you go to properties, which is what you're going to need to do, it might say something different, but simply just change it. And... Normally it'll give you a list of programs, you can just click notepad. So that's what that's what I did to where when you open it up it pulls a little list up like this. This is where you're gonna type in your Hamachi IP address right there. You're gonna type that in. You can edit your PvP or your player versus player, turn that on true or false. Spawn animals, spawn monsters, offline mode. Now offline mode, that's going to help with European players. Now, um, it, I mean, not just European players. Say if a server was hosted in the U.S., only U.S. people could join, or that's what happened today with me and a couple of my friends that were trying to join. But, um, and if you live in Europe and you hosted a server in Europe, normally it's just going to be Europe players that are going to allow to join. Or it might be just different people with different connections. I'm not sure though, but always, I always turn that to false. It doesn't really change anything. Just helps people connect, connect it, you know, max players and whatnot. And that's basically all you do from right there. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back in, and you're gonna run your server, and it'll it'll look exactly like this. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the open this file again because I like to keep my stuff open just in case I have to do a a restart keep the properties and whatnot up and every time this comes up your servers online when you exit out that shuts the server down which will restart it if you want to change any options in this little pad here which I have two open but um yeah if say if you want to change the max players or if you want to turn monsters off or something you'd simply you go in and then you top in since it's on true right now I'd go and I'd type in false, I'd go to file, and then save it. And then what I would do after that, is I would X the server out, and then simply U to 
So I download it again and open it back up. And run it again. Now, um, my server is completely up right now. It should be up. So let's test it out. See if it worked. Multiplayer. I already have my IP in here because I've been hosting today. And as you can see, it works. And here's my little Minecraft world. This is the little house that we built. There are me and my friends for. I did all this adding stuff, but my friends helped me build it a lot. The first server I hosted, our house just randomly burnt down. So we kind of. I deleted that world. Which here, I'll show you how to do that right fast also. When you get ready to delete your world that you've already started, you want to go again to the location which you put the download file in and you'll go to world and that's going to be you know that's going to be the little world that you have on the server and when you delete that world it'll you i just go ahead and delete the rest of this stuff down here in ops and then banned players and banned ips i'll go ahead and delete all those files and then i'll host another server and it'll pull it up and it'll be brand new and that is the tutorial on how to host a minecraft server thank you for watching